Hello everybody, Andrea Majeski here with Dental Tutoring. So it's already September and if you are a dental hygienist who has been audited and you need to submit your portfolio by January 2019, you want to do it sooner than that, trust me, because you don't want to be working or trying to get organized, trying to do trainings over the holidays, right? You don't. I remember I handed in my portfolio, I'd say about four years ago, maybe three years ago, four years ago, and I, I had the best of intentions to do it, you know, before summer started, because you don't want to do it over the summer either. But then life happens. So then I thought, well, after summer, I will work on it, you know. But then it's, it's October, and you're kind of already thinking about Christmas. Well, I know I am. I'm sorry, but I am. Um, and just life happens, right? But I, I remember ending up doing it. I, you know... I put everything on the kitchen table for like months and I did a little bit at the time, November, December, I think I just finally handed it in like December 31st. Okay. You do have until the end of January, but the best advice that I can give you is to get organized now. So you don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, Cause depending on how organized you are already, it might take you a couple months to just kind of get everything together. Um, but start now, start now, Get it done before the holidays and I can help you. Um, I do have what is called a portfolio workshop that I tell you exactly and I give you examples of learning activities, how to go about your typical day, um, goals and goal related kind of activities. Plus, I show you guys um, goals that do not work goals that people have submitted in the past where the CDHO tells them this isn't a good goal. You have to come up with 20 more hours or 10 more hours. Hey, it does happen. So try to avoid that and get it all done right. So you, so they don't send you that letter or, you know, call you and make you do certain hours over again. So I can help you with all of that. Plus I will look at your portfolio for no extra fee. Okay, so what I do is I look through your entire portfolio and I typically write a page or two, you know, depending on how well your portfolio is done. But I like to write a page or two, seems to be the average, of things that I suggest you, you know, change a little bit or the wording might be off or where I feel you might need a couple extra hours here or where I feel you might have too many hours for one thing and the CDHO probably won't like that and how you should put those hours and put them somewhere else. Now, I don't tell you what to do, but I've done enough, I've helped enough with portfolios now over about three years that I have a pretty good idea what the CDHO is looking for. I don't promise anything, of course, right? I can't, but it just kind of helps you have an idea if you're on the right track. So you're not, you know, sitting there looking at your portfolio for weeks and weeks and weeks and being afraid to submit it and not really know what's going to happen. So I'm happy to help. Um, I'll leave the link at the bottom for you. You can sign up for the portfolio workshop anytime and you do have unlimited access for one full year. So you won't need it for a full year, but you know, if you're watching this and you and you just found out that you got audited, then yes, you, you will need it, right, for that whole year. Plus, inside the uh, portfolio workshop, which is all online, I, I, um, you will see um, um, webinars added so that you can watch those and they are used as part of your continuing education. So I do teach you how to submit those into your, your um, portfolio so that the CDHO sees that you're constantly learning. So I have webinars on, you know, how to do obviously the portfolio, how to help you through that, but also on certain topics too. So that if part of your portfolio, um, part of your quality assurance might have been to learn how to do oral cancer screenings properly or learning more about cancer patients. I have many different topics in there that you're more than welcome to use because that's what the portfolio workshop's all about. Kind of like a one-stop shopping, you know, but if there's other um, resources that you want to use, I, I will also show you where to look, where you don't have to pay anything extra to take additional um, quality assurance courses. So that kind of helps too, because you have paid enough at this point. It's the end of the year soon, which means we have to update 
our licenses, you know, all kinds of things, right? So it just helps to not have to pay anything extra. So I do offer um, additional um, resources also. So please, you guys, let me know if you if you need help. I will leave the link to um, the portfolio workshop on the bottom because right now it is on sale because I like to help you all out because as I said at the beginning of the year there's always so much to pay for so it's nice to help people out a little bit okay so let me know if you need help I'll see you guys in the next video good luck and remember that I will look at your entire portfolio for free okay no extra charge because I like to help and it just helps to have somebody look at it right and I have lots of experience so I am very very happy to help you okay thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one